What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Kendall back with another video. First off, Happy New Year to everyone. Set some goals this year, work hard to achieve them, all 23. It's the best thing you can do. Um, this week, we're gonna jump into week nine. Um, week nine, I think I did four lows to be exact, so let's jump right into them. Um, the first load that I did I did head it over to Rincon, Georgia. This is me coming back from home time, I believe. Um, so I did head it over to Rincon, Georgia, dropping hook low. That low was only 30,000 pounds. And I took that low 560 miles over to Hopkins, Connecticut. Not Connecticut, Kentucky, my bad. Over to the Walmart, and that low was a dropping hook. And I've been there I've been there a couple times so that load is not too bad it comes out I believe twice a week Mondays and Thursdays so it's not a bad load to do and that load paid one thousand three hundred eighty one dollars so not a bad load I mean I've done it a lot so probably continue to do it. it's a good load to get out of Florida considering you know don't I really come out of Florida so definitely want to, to keep a lookout for um, load two I did head it over to London Kentucky it was a live load pickup easy place pulled up um checked in got a door right away they actually loaded me within like 15 20 minutes um they were actually waiting on me so um we all love places like that in and out um parking lot wasn't too bad but um i think they only had with their because of their trailers they had one dock door and then three of the other doors were just loaded with their trailers i'm not really sure if those trailers move it all but it's not a bad place um that load was twenty five thousand pounds when i booked it it said it was 40 but when i got there it was 25 so i wasn't gonna complain i took that load 672 miles down to ocala florida to i believe it was the dollar tree warehouse out there and um that load paid one thousand seven hundred and seventeen dollars and that was a dropping hook as well after that um my load three the third load that i did um that one didn't go as planned i did head it over to the nestle plant in leaf florida um big plant in the middle of nowhere they do give you free water when you go so definitely grab you a couple cases if you ever go there um i got there and the lady told me that my load was missing it was two loads that were missing pallets and my load just so happened to be one of them i was supposed to take that load over to mississippi um but she said it was missing 18 pallets i guess the truck was stuck up in that snowstorm they had up in the northeast so it wouldn't be there for a couple days so um obviously i wasn't gonna sit there and wait a couple days because i had other loads already booked so i ended up calling snyder and getting a um bnu you know those who don't know what that is that's the vehicle not used over here they pay you i believe 150 dollars for that so i got that and i was able to hop on the load board and find another load and over here they have um in the app where you can uh insert a load so it doesn't mess up the rest of your week so you don't have to cancel all your loads so i don't have to cancel anything i found another load inserted that and was able to keep on with my week so i didn't really want to take that that nestle low anyway because it was forty four thousand pounds and i don't really like heavy loads like that <clears throat> but since i had already dropped my trailer there snyder had me go over to lake park to pick up an empty and then i did head it up to ellenwood georgia uh, once i got up to ellenwood georgia that low was a drop and hook as well and it was 30k pounds I took that load 578 miles to West Jefferson, Ohio for a drop and hook as well at the Target warehouse. And that load paid $1,097 plus the $150 for the VNU. So it wasn't too bad of a load and it saved me from canceling my whole week. So that worked out. The fourth load, I did head over to Lima, Ohio, which wasn't, wasn't too bad of a load of Procter and Gamble out there. Um, kind of sucked once I got out there, started snowing. Um, when I first was on my way there, it was like lightly snowing, but then it definitely picked up a lot. So I hurried up and grabbed that load and got up out of there. Um, that load was 39,000 pounds. 
they did have a scale there so that was a plus so i was able to scale that out um that load i took 1032 miles over to dallas texas um with this load i definitely had a few hiccups with it um it sucks but it is what it is um i stopped at a truck stop in indiana um to get fuel and i guess while i was there somehow i dropped my wallet in the parking lot um i didn't notice it till a couple hours later when i got down the road and i stopped called the truck stop they confirmed that they had it somebody had found it in the parking lot um luckily i got back nothing was taken from the wallet so shout out to whoever found my wallet i appreciate that um but it sucked because i had to drive an hour and a half back to go get it but luckily i was able to get it and then um continue my drive later that night once i got into texas a freaking rock from a dump truck bounced off hit my windshield cracked that it started off super small at the bottom and then by that next morning it was everywhere so um, it wasn't leaking or anything but since i was going to the dallas terminal i did end up getting that fixed they got me in right away and um probably fixed it within like two hours so um i did get a clip of that i will show y'all at the end of this video that when it happened um but other than that i did get that load delivered <coughs> and that load paid me two thousand one hundred and twenty seven dollars for that load it wasn't a bad load besides the hiccups that came with it um all in i got paid six thousand three hundred and twenty three dollars um my total deductions was two thousand one hundred and twenty eight dollars and then my take home was four thousand one hundred and ninety five dollars so wasn't a bad week definitely a better week than the last two previous weeks i had but um with the holidays things have been slower me going home and stuff but it's definitely picking up now so like always i appreciate you for watching share the video like comment subscribe if you need to contact me for anything i will leave my contact information down below in the description box um but everyone have a blessed new year till next time